Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. Today we're going to work on the tune Cooley's Reel. It's a great Irish tune in the key of E minor, or E modal. Um, and I'll play it through a couple times for you, then I'll break it down into sections. Uh, this one's got a lot of notes, um, so if you want the tablature or the standard music notation, it's on the website, mandolessons.com, under Fiddle Tunes and under Cooley's Reel. So there's also the chords there, um, if you're looking for those. Um, so take a check, take a look at the website, and there's lots of other good stuff there too. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Again, I'll play through a couple times and then break it down into sections. One, two, three, four. So, again, there are tabs and standard uh, notation on the website, but I do recommend trying to give it a try just by ear. It's good practice. Uh, it'll really uh, help out your ears and make everything that you learn from here on in a little, a little smoother. Every tune that you learn by ear makes the next tune to learn by ear a little easier. Um, so, try it this way. If you need some help, there are tabs on the website. All right, here's the first uh, phrase of the A part. Starts in the second fret of the E of the D string. So that's just between the second fret of the D and second fret of the A. Open two again. Next phrase. So that's so second fret of the D string, second of the A. So put those two phrases together and we get uh, one, two, three, four. And it sounds a little unresolved because of the next phrase that we're going into, but let's do that part again a couple times. Three, four. Next phrase. So that's so uh, every other note there is 
is an open D string. It starts on the fourth fret of the D string. Four, open, open A, open, second fret of the A string, open, open A string again. So it sounds. One more time, three, four. So up to there we have one, two, three, four. Uh, the next phrase to end the first half of the A part is starts in the fourth fret of the D string. It's a little D arpeggio. Four, open, four, open A, five in the A, open A, four, open. One more time. Great, so here's the whole first half of the A part. Three, four. Next, uh, second half of the A part starts the exact same way. And then ends with this phrase. So those are, uh, that's the end of, so we have, uh, uh, sorry. This is the second time through. I'll play it once. That's all the same as the beginning of the A part. And then that five is the downbeat. That fifth fret on the E string is the downbeat. So, oh, two, three, five. And then we have this little pattern. Five, two, three, oh, five, two. times five two three oh five two oh four one more time five two three oh five two oh four and the last phrase So the whole end of the A part starts like the beginning. Again, here we go. And then we have three more little notes to get us back to the top of the A. So it goes So we have five, four, oh, two, and then that's the top again. So I'll play the A part twice 
and then um, you'll sort of hear how they connect. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Second half. That's the whole A part twice through. Then we have a couple little pickup notes into the B section. So that's three, two, three on the E string. First phrase of the B part. So it's kind of rocking back. There's a lot of second fret on the A string. So it's open E. All in the second fret of the A string. Open three, open. So I'll play that a couple times. Two, three, four. One more time. So that's, uh, that's all kind of that repeated note is that second fret on the A string. And let's put in that uh, little pickup, those three, two, three. So one, two, three. Next little phrase starts in the third fret of the E string. One again. That's three oh five two oh. Three oh five two oh. So so far, three, sorry, one, two, three. Three, two, three, oh, oh, three, oh. So starting from that same ending open A, the next phrase, that's Time here we go. So putting all that together, we have with the pickup one, two, three. Again, starting from that A we just ended on, we have so that's open A, open D, four on the D, open A, two, four, five, two on the E. So we have. One more time. Oh, oh. So from the pickup at the beginning of the B, one, two, three.
Great. I'll do that two more times. One, two, three. Again, it's ending kind of unresolved because we're waiting to drop back into the bottom of the second half of the B part. Um, again, one last time from the beginning of the B. One, two, three. So then the second half from that two second fret on the E string that we just started on. The same, third to the same. So that first half of the second half, first part of the second half of the B part is exactly the same as the first half of the B part. Um, and then the second half, the very end of the B part, is exactly the same as the end of the A part. That's O two three O five two three O five two. So I'll loop the B part a couple times. And then I'll play through the whole thing, but for now I'll look to be part. One, two, three. start back up into the A part. So, I'll play the whole tune once and then you'll be good to go. Again, more lessons at mandolessons.com, tabs and standard notation and chords at the Coolies Real Lesson uh, page on the website. And I hope to see you again soon. Starting from the top. One, two, three, four. That's the whole tune. Thanks for watching.